just found a YouTube video that's going to show you how to install Mono Develop 4.0 on Linux. That's actually not in Spanish. Wait, maybe? Lo vamos en español, un poquito de español, lo podemos en español si gustas. I'm just messing with you, it's going to be in English. So what is Mono Develop? Mono Develop is a development environment for C Sharp, .NET, C, C++, and Vala. So why should you use Mono Develop? Mono Develop is con counterpart of Visual Studio. So if you're comfortable using Visual Studio, you're going to fit right into Mono Develop. So um, enough blabbering, let's get to installing it. Pull up the terminal. And we're gonna do we're gonna add a repository. So we're gonna go sudo app add repository. And it's gonna be uh, PPA direct hex forward slash PPA. And I already added this um repository so I'm not going to go ahead and re-add it so make sure you run this command and add that repository so we're going to do sudo app get update I'm just going to go ahead and update my packages and we're actually going to be doing another one sudo app get install and we're going to install mono develop and um, actually, it's not installed, so this is actually going to take a little bit of time. But what, while this is installing, I actually want to talk about um, the application that we're going to be creating to test this out. Because um, if you are going to use Mono Develop, you probably want to do some C Sharp application or .NET um, development for the web in Linux. So um, we're going to be setting up a project, running it on the browser, and compiling it, and actually seeing this thing work. So. Um, as this is installing, um, we're going to be using, uh, okay, it's done. So the next thing else, we're going to do sudo app get install. And this is what I was talking about, mono forward slash XSP. What this is, it's a lightweight server that serves um, C-sharp application. Um, clear this out. We no longer need this window. We're going to go ahead and... Um, Pull up model develop. So there's model develop. This guy's starting right up. So here we go. We're gonna go and hit click start new solution. We're gonna go C sharp ASP.NET and we're gonna say web application and we're gonna call this guy web app. We actually want it in the name. And the location is gonna be my desktop is fine. We got it. So we're gonna go ahead and keep moving. Click forward. And then don't don't check any of these boxes. We don't need those right now. You can always come back and change any of that. So there you go. We just created um, a default web ASPX app. But now we need to run it. We want to make sure that that server we set up is actually working. So we're going to go here and click start without debugging. So it's, it's trying to open up the browser and give it a sec. There we go. We got this button right here that says click me. There you go. You clicked me. Go back. There we go. So we're actually in the browser at 127.0.01.8080 default ASP.x. So we're actually getting that page served by that um, by that install we did. So that's working perfectly. Now to prove to ourselves that we're actually here, we're going to say click me, double bang. Save that. Run. Start without debugging. Oh, we actually have a project already. So we're going to stop. Start without debugging. Give that a second to start up. And here we go. We we just, there you go. You clicked me. Bang, bang. So um, there you go. Now you can start coding along just like you would normally. As always, if you found this video useful, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Follow me on Twitter or ping me on Google+. And don't forget the notes for, for this video are right below this video. So you can actually click on the notes and it'll take you exactly where all the commands are. So until next time, we'll 